guys, I'm here to bring you my acne coverage foundation routine. In case you didn't know, I'm a beginner, so I just thought I'd give you all some tips on what I've been doing recently. So starting out, I'm going to add some coconut oil to my face. I use this just because my face is so dry. I've already washed my face with Clinique products, but I thought I'd give it a little bit more moisturization. So I always start with a little bit of coconut oil, not too much because I've learned that if you put too much on, it really comes through your foundation and you still see the spots. Next, I'm going in with my Hard Candy Primer, and this is just to help the foundation feel better on my face. Like, I honestly felt like before I started using primer, the foundation just felt really heavy. But, like, once I started using primer, the foundation just felt sort of weightless on my face. Like, I didn't feel like I was wearing a lot of makeup. So I would definitely suggest starting to wear primer if you don't believe in it like I used to not believe in it. I actually got way too much out of the bottle so I was just like putting it on and putting it on trying to get rid of it because I didn't want to waste it. As I stated before, I think it's best to use the concealer under your foundation thanks to that Amreezy trick. This is just MAC concealer. I'm sorry I don't remember the name of the concealer. I will try to go back and find the name of the concealer and what color I use. And I'm going to apply it using my beauty blender. And no, I'm not using an actual beauty blender. It's just an off-brand that I got from a beauty supply store. But it works good for me because I hate, hate, hate using a brush because all the little bristles get into my foundation or whatever I'm applying. So this really works better um, when I can afford to get a beauty blender. Maybe I'll get one. But these are good. They're only like $3 at a beauty supply store. As you can see, I applied it directly to my face instead of the beauty blender because I've noticed that lately, whenever I apply a product to my beauty blender, it soaks in the product and it usually looks very thin on my face. So I tried just putting it on my face first and then dabbing at the concealer just a little bit so that most of the product is on my face and not in the beauty blender. I also noticed, and maybe because it's a knockoff beauty blender, but that, as you can see, it's very dirty no matter how many times I've washed it. Like, I've legit washed it so many times, and the color just will not come out. I don't know if that's with all beauty blenders or just with this one because it's not a real beauty blender, but yeah, that's what I've noticed. I didn't realize that you all couldn't see what I was doing on that side of my face. I was just trying to see myself because as you know, I wear glasses. So it's kind of hard for me to see the camera. I really cannot see like, guys, I am so blind, like no lie. But I couldn't really see what I was looking like in the camera. And I barely could see what I was looking like in my mirror without trying to put the mirror in front of the camera. So, yeah, I'm hoping to have a better beauty set up someday soon. But for now, I am proud of what I have set up right now because, as you know, before I was standing up using the window light, it was a hot mess. But um, I recently got this light that attaches to your phone. Yeah, so I would suggest that for anyone who is using their phone to film. I kind of like got the concealer on my lip a little bit and it's just like, oh, I got like poop on my lip. It was so funny. I don't know. I'm weird, you guys. So I had to go in around my lip a lot more than the other spots on my face because I do have a lot of discoloration and also like an after shadow, like a guy because I have PCOS which basically is like a hormone imbalance in your body that makes you grow a lot of hair. It's a lot to it, but basically for my upper lip, that's what is the cause of so much discoloration. And a lot of my face is discolored. Um, I don't know why. I think it's basically the hormones, but 
anyway, that's why I'm making this tutorial so that if anyone suffers like me with discoloration, you can kind of cover it up. Um, a lot of times when I was doing my makeup, I could still see the spots and it was so annoying to have like this wannabe glam look, but then still see the spots under it. But I found that by using this trick, I didn't see it. Now, with this new light that I have, I didn't know that you guys can definitely see the spot still. But in real life, it covered it pretty well. Like my mom said to me the other day, she was like, oh, I can't see your spots like usual. And like that was the biggest compliment I've ever gotten. So yeah, definitely this concealer under the foundation trick is definitely the way to go. I haven't tried using matte concealer over the foundation. So if you guys know how that works, please comment down below and let me know. I usually just use like LA Girl Concealer over my foundation just to brighten spots but never to conceal. So I'm pretty much just going to cover my face in the spots that I think need the most coverage. Um, like I said, I didn't realize that you guys could actually still see some of the spots. So that's something to learn. And then also, you guys, I am like so petty Betty. I am like looking at myself like, girl, why didn't you blend down to your neck? Well, I never really had that problem because my neck is always so much darker that I never really pay attention to it because it's so hard to match my face to my neck because it's just so much darker, like no matter what I do. So if you have any tips on blending like your makeup from your face to your neck, please let me know. But then I also have a problem because like the makeup gets on my clothes and I hate that too. And so I did put a little bit of concealer on the tip of my beauty blender just because it's hard to get in the creases with just using the applicator. So I definitely did put some concealer on my beauty blender just to help me out a bit. And then I used the rest of it for my eyes because my eyes are discolored as well. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation in 71 Deep. I was another color, I think 65, but she got rid of a few colors. So now I'm a 71 Deep. I found this foundation through Raven Elise TV. She used to use it all the time, like it was her holy grail at first, but now she uses different foundations. Oh my gosh, can you guys see how I didn't blend it to like the back of my head to like under my neck? It's just like two different tones. Girl, what are you doing? But yeah, so uh, I think using the foundation, it kind of helped that I, you know, didn't blend to my neck. But you know, that's me, you guys. I'm like not perfect at all, but I try. Like I really try to cover my spots, but... I cannot cover that dark neck, girl. I cannot cover it. But yeah, I'm just using my beauty blender to blend it out on half of my face. So you guys can see that it's not much of a difference between using my foundation and my concealer. And honestly, I don't conceal my forehead. Even though in the video it looks very dark, I just don't feel like using concealer up there really makes a difference and I don't want to waste product so as you can see my foundation really covers my forehead so this is the half without foundation and this is the half with foundation and so now I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I apply about this much to it and then I just start pouncing it on my face girl I would also like to mention that the foundation and the concealer are basically the same consistency. So it's honestly um, like putting on the same exact thing. But I feel like the foundation makes me yellow, whereas the concealer made me brown. So this is the final look after I use the concealer and foundation 
And no, this is not the final look. I will be uploading another video on contouring and highlighting for a beginner because I'm a beginner. Hey guys, thanks for watching another London Tipton video. And um, please comment down below if you have any video suggestions or if you have any idea on how I was actually supposed to do these videos because I'm a beginner at everything. So if you have any tips and tricks for me, let me know down below. And I'll see you in another London Tipton video. Peace out, Girl Scout.